All right, welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna to be talking about video games. I started with my first console in the 80s. It was probably 86. Got my Nintendo by 88, 89. My mom got me my Game Boy. I have, in like 1990, I got the Game Gear. I was the only kid with the TV tuner. You could watch TV on your Game Gear. I had an antenna. I still have it, things awesome. Um, by 92 or 93, probably holiday system of 92, holiday year of 1992, we ended up getting the Sega Genesis. I ended up finding a Sega CD from a friend of mine in elementary school, Jordan. I got that. 1995, I ended up getting the PlayStation. After that, I got the Ultra 64, which they ended up calling the Nintendo 64 here in the States. Um, I ended up getting, of course, PS2. PS3, haven't gotten the PS4 yet, but they have a newer one coming out soon, the PS5. I ended up getting an Xbox 360, or not 360, Xbox One, and then I ended up getting the Xbox One and the Xbox One X. And I got a nice little game collection here I wanted to go through and show you. I've had a bunch of games over the years, sold some of them, lost some of them. These are the games that I have, and they're some of my favorites. I even have the old school Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Sega Genesis games on a modded PS3 that I have, but these are the physical copies that I have. So hope you guys enjoy this, my little collection of games. All right, so here we got PlayStation 1. This is uh, Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. I've got for PlayStation 2, Need for Speed Most Wanted, Need for Speed Pro Street, Need for Speed Carbon, all right? Still, this is actually PlayStation 3 now. We got Need for Speed Shift, Shift 2 Unleashed, Need for Speed The Run, Need for Speed Rivals, going on to Need for Speed Undercover, right? So I have some of the best games there from Need for Speed. Uh, now we go to Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo 1, Gran Turismo 2. Looks like there were two discs for that one. We got Gran Turismo 3, Gran Turismo 4. And then it went on to PS3 for Gran Turismo 5 and 6. As you can see, I like racing games. I got F1 2011, 2014, and F1 Championship Edition. And dope game from PS1, Rallycross. Literally have this from the 90s, still works great. Continuing on that theme, rally games. We got Dirt Showdown, Dirt 3, WRC 3. And we got some Tokyo Extreme Racer, right? So now we're going more into like the drifting. So sticking with the drifting, I got Initial D, uh, Special Stage for PlayStation 2. I have Tokyo Highway Battle. I have Initial D Extreme Stage. And this was one of the first games I ever got, Ridge Racer on PlayStation 1. We got Rage Racer, which is kind of like a sequel to Ridge Racer. I got... Uh, Ridge Racer Unbounded, Ridge Racer ty uh, Type 4, and then what else is this? Ridge Racer 5, Ridge Racer 7 over here. And then I got Split Second, Blur, and Burnout Paradise. And these are pretty much the same kind of racing game, more arcade rather than simulation, but enjoyable nonetheless. Ah, some of my favorites right here. So if you had the first PlayStation, you know about Wipeout. I got Wipeout XL, Wipeout Fusion on PlayStation 2. Um, let me see what else. We got the Grid for PS3. I've got Grid 2. And actually, that was Grid Autosport. I think that one was the 3. This one is the 1. I've got Driver. I've got Midnight Club 3. We've got an old copy of Twisted Metal 3, Twisted Metal, Twisted Metal 2. And then Twisted Metal Black for PlayStation 2. Um, if you played these games back in the day, you know that the best ones, honestly, were 1 and 2. And I believe it's because they ended up switching um, developers. Uh, I think this was 989 Sports for like Twisted Metal 3 and beyond. And the handling, it just was not the same. I didn't like it as much. We got Stuntman, Burning Road, another game that I have from years ago that I got. And Xbox One, we got some Forza. I got Need for Speed. We got some Project Cars, a set of Corsa. And now we're going into the first person shooter. We got the Black Ops, 
right? Call of Duty Black Ops for PS3 and for Xbox One. We got some classics, Time Splitters 1, Time Splitters 2, and then Time Splitters Future Perfect. I don't know which one that is, but these were actually from the people that made GoldenEye and Perfect Dark, so they have similar gameplay as well. I also have the orange box. I've got some games on there. We got Killzone, Resistance, Borderlands. Oh, love this right here, Doom. I played this in the sixth grade by myself. I'd be playing in a dark room, scared to death, playing this game. Um, got Doom 3 for PS3, Doom, or Quake on PlayStation 2. I used to play one of my friends, Windsor, on our big screen back in the day, and he told me how he would whip me up if we played on the computer, so I started playing online, and he's right. You have a lot more control with keyboard and mouse, and I got my butt whooped until I got good at playing on the computer, and in my college years, like 2001, 2002, we play internationally against other countries online. A lot of fun. I forget which game is supposed to be there, but I got Red Faction. Again, con uh, continuing on with my first person shooters. Red Faction 2, Black. Over here, we've got some Battlefield, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 4, 007 Legends, 007 Under Fire. And it's nice because they're a mixture, mostly PlayStation games, PS2 and PS3. We got Army of Two, right? Two games right there for PS3. Going on more to the action adventure. I grew up loving this. This is from Eidos, uh, Tomb Raider. We got Tomb Raider 1, Tomb Raider 2. Then we got Tomb Raider 3, The Last Revelation. And everyone knows about Grand Theft Auto. I actually have Grand Theft Auto 2. And I remember getting this over my friend's house, Fabrizio. I got to see this game in action for the first time. And then college, 2002, this is what everyone was playing on PlayStation. Grand Theft Auto 3, that game is a classic. So many games came out afterwards, um, influenced by that one game. What else do we have? Next we got Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto 4, um, Liberty City, Grand Theft Auto 4, and The Last of Us. Ooh, love this right here, Resident Evil Director's Cut. Um, I also have Resident Evil Code Veronica X, Resident Evil 2, I have that on two CDs right there. We've got God of War, The Getaway, and Getaway Part 2, this was an awesome game. I played this game not even knowing that you could lean against the walls to um, like recover and rest up, and I just got so good at that game, even without using the auto-aim, I made it all the way to the triads without resting, without auto-aim. Old school Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, um, Metal Gear Solid 3, Parasite Eve, Silent Hill, Silent Hill 2, The Walking Dead, Assassin's Creed, Onimusha, Suikoden, just picked this up the other day. This is a role-playing game. I had this and Final Fantasy 7 back in the day, and I actually like this one more. Mirror's Edge, Dishonored, Uncharted 3, SOCOM, Prince of Persia, Fallout 3, and here we go into the fighting games. Uh, I've spent many quarters playing Mortal Kombat in the arcade. Got that on the old school PS1. Street Fighter, looks like four, right there. PlayStation 3. We got Tekken Tag, back in the day on the PlayStation, if you're a fan. Um, the only game that you had for fighting was Battle Arena Toshin Den. And then they came out with Namco, and Namco came out with uh, Tekken, which was competing directly against like the Sega Dreamcast and Virtua Fighter and Sega Saturn. Um, we got R-Type, Final, Einhander, a dope Japanese game. Same thing, Bloody Roar was dope back in the day. Me and my boy David used to play this. I got Warhawk, Top Gun, Top Gun, right? PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. This is a cool game back on PlayStation also. We got Jet Moto 2. I had Jet Moto 1 back in the day. I don't know what happened. NHL face-off. Um, I don't like ho hockey in real life, but playing the game was dope. FIFA, Tony Hawk, NBA 2K6. Dance Dance Revolution. No, I don't have the dance pad. Uh, Extermination. These are some other games where I don't really have this organized that well. Outlaw Golf 2. It's like a Japanese game, I think. Golf 4. Chess Master, Monster Hunter. Destiny 2 Plus, I don't know what that is. Front Mission, some Japanese games. 
Same thing with this, the Duelist of the Roses for PlayStation 2. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Hard Hitter Tennis. And then Final Fantasy VII came with, I believe, four discs. I only have two. I don't know what the other ones are. This PlayStation 3 Fit and Six. Overblood, Club World, Project Eden. Matrix, Namco Collection. I also have games on my Xbox, on my PlayStation Online that I purchase that are on the system. And I think that might be it. What do we have? Oh, check it out. Bonus street racing videos. So these are like old school nowadays. People don't even collect those. You have YouTube, bunch of stuff. But yeah, that was my gaming. Another day I'll actually show you the systems, show you my modded PS3 and my racing simulation chair that I have. Have a great night, everyone. Take care. Bye.